Hello, this is Steve Disher, and welcome to LearnMicrotech.com's application series. In these short video presentations, we will show you how Microtech's router OS is used in real life scenarios. Thanks for joining us. Today's note features a backbone tower serving various distribution towers for a WISP or wireless ISP. Let's begin with an overview of how this network is organized. First, the WISP has a connection to one or more Tier 1 or Tier 2 Internet providers. In this case, the WISP has multiple Ethernet connections to multiple ISPs via BGP or Border Gateway Protocol for full failover and redundancy. The connection is delivered at a data center with full protected backup power. Next, that bandwidth is carried by single mode underground fiber as a gig Ethernet connection to the WISP backbone tower. The backbone tower uses multiple high capacity microwave links to connect to the distribution towers, which are then connected to wireless clients, homes, and businesses. Now, let's take a look at this example. In this photo, you can see the tower, a white cabinet which houses provider's equipment and a generator to supply backup power. The generator is an 8KW unit that starts automatically when needed to supplement the power conditioned and supplied by the internal UPS inside the cabinet. The equipment cabinet itself is manufactured by the Purcell Corporation and is widely used by cellular telephone providers. The cabinet provides physical security, protection from the elements, and has its own internal air conditioning system to keep the equipment cool and dry. In the event of an air conditioning failure, dual fans exhaust hot air from the cabinet until the unit can be serviced. The generator operates off of propane gas and with a 500 gallon tank nearby can run for several weeks if needed. The unit exercises itself weekly to maintain reliable performance and is monitored by the equipment inside the cabinet. The backbone tower itself is a 100-foot freestanding tower and is outfitted with several 2-foot diameter dishes serving the various distribution towers. The dishes are mounted on robust custom mounts. Inside the cabinet are a distribution switch running .1Q VLANs, power over Ethernet adapters to power the radios on the tower, a PC, keyboard, mouse and monitor for troubleshooting, and a UPS for power conditioning and backup. The PC server doubles as an interface to the UPS to monitor the UPS status and send alerts to technicians in the event of a power issue. In addition, the server is outfitted with a serial port monitor manufactured by IT Watchdogs that monitors all of the internal environmentals in the cabinet, as well as security switches in the doors of the cabinet, the state of the generator, and even the sound levels inside the equipment cabinet. Alerts are generated if any of these data points falls outside of a specific range. And last but not least, the cabinet features a built-in light for nighttime operations. All of the radios used in this WISP distribution system are made by Microtech, as well as the access points, most of the backhauls, and the core routing in this provider's network, providing reliable and cost-effective solutions. We hope that you've enjoyed our first application note showing how Microtech Router OS and router board hardware are being used in the field. If you're interested in learning more about Microtech or Router OS, call us today at area code 888-859-3237 or visit us on the web at learnmicrotech.com. This is Steve Disher and thanks for joining us.